So today on the Landscape Lowdown, we are gonna talk about pavers versus concrete as far as your patio surfaces. So the biggest question we get about these two different types of patios is the cost. So you're always gonna see a cost savings in regular poured concrete. It's not as labor intensive. It doesn't take as long to uh, put it in. And uh, it's, it's just kind of a, it, it is what it is on that end of things. Pavers takes a lot of time. It's a lot of time and it, it does have a different aesthetic value to it. So it depends on how you wanna go about it. The one thing on the cost end of things is that stamped concrete can be more expensive than pavers or is equal to. So that is when they actually stamp the concrete while it is curing. And then they stain it oftentimes to make it look like a stone surface. So I mentioned aesthetics. Aesthetics are one of those things that it depends on what you want it to look like. If you want it to be ultra modern, sometimes a uh, paper uh, patio can do that as well as a concrete uh, slab patio. Depends on how you cut it, how you make those things fit together. It's definitely a different look when you go concrete slab versus a concrete paver patio. So there is a difference in concrete types. So one of the things is a lot of the paver companies, the concrete pavers, actually engineer their pavers to be super durable. And since they're not a large area, they're very small and concise, sometimes that big, they hold or displace that energy when there's weight on top of them better than regular concrete. Concrete tends to displace it across a larger area and if there's any voids underneath that concrete, it will crack or chip or break in some fashion. So that's something to definitely consider when you're talking about durability of concrete pavers to a concrete slab. So talking about durability is one of those things that uh, transitions me into uh, talking about concrete and its longevity and how it works. Uh, like I had said, the pavers displace that energy a lot better because they're small. Concrete, on the other hand, is displaced over a larger area and it can crack. That happens oftentimes during the winter when the soil is going up and down in those temperature freeze and thaw cycles. So, and once concrete is, is, uh, is cracked, there's not much you can do besides replace it and that can be awfully expensive and you're never gonna match any existing concrete around it. Now pavers on the other hand, they actually come up and down with the soil and the base that's underneath it and it allows for that fluctuation in the ground. The other thing is when something or if something ever happened to your paver, you should be able to lift it right up out, put a new one in replace it and it doesn't look any different. It's the same material, it looks the same. I always recommend keeping a few extra pavers so that we can replace those things when that happens. Transitioning from repairs to maintenance, I wanted to talk about one other thing with repair. So a concrete patio, you're going to have to seal those cracks with a caulking or something like that in order for that, that issue not to continue. And it may still continue uh, as it goes along, but it at least seals up that gap. And sometimes in, in, a, uh, in a scenario where you actually have a stamped concrete patio, you can, uh, those cracks will actually run with some, somewhat with the stamps oftentimes. 
because it's kind of a weak point. Uh, it doesn't always, so keep that in mind because it could crack right across the wrong section and that's just what it is. But you can do a little bit of more repair on a stamped concrete because you can mix up dyes to make it look similar to the color of the concrete, stamped concrete itself. The next thing I wanted to talk about is cleaning. So concrete and concrete pavers both have similar uh, methods, methods of cleaning. So typically what we do is we power, power wash uh, all of our uh, pavers and get all that uh, sand out and we replace that sand occasionally. Sometimes that sand will, will rush out of the, uh, the cracks and then you've got a big gap and it doesn't look finished. So sometimes you'll have to do that. And concrete will get kind of a, a dingy look to it occasionally too. So you, you want to power wash those things off. And that's, that's part of the maintenance of concrete surfaces, both pavers and slabs. The last thing, last two things I want to talk about is safety and value. So safety is one of those things that um, that isn't always thought about when you're talking about a paver or a, or a patio. Excuse me. Patios, you want to you want to make sure that they're safe because you don't want anybody slipping and falling when they're wet or damp or anything like that. Oftentimes, pavers are designed to have a little bit more of a rugged grip to them so that you don't slip on them. Versus concrete, whereas concrete has, uh, has a smooth surface typically and is, is more of a, an area where you can slip very easily. Now, there's other options as far as concrete, again, that you can do with stamped concrete so they'll make undulations in the concrete but oftentimes that uh, sealer or sealant that's on top of it makes a little bit more slick. Um, and there's other, there's other ways to pour concrete that, that may provide a more, uh, more slip resistant surface. But this, uh, the pavers are, are built in with that, uh, that safety feature, basically. So the other thing I want to talk about is value. Oftentimes value is in uh, can come from different different perspectives. So when you're looking at aesthetics, the value of a paver patio versus a concrete patio is often higher. So paver patios, as far as resale value and all that stuff, they add value to your home. Um, not to say that concrete doesn't, it just doesn't have the same uh, ROI your return on investment as a paver uh, patio does. So that's our perspective from Earthcraft. And if you have any questions, please, please contact us. Let us know if you if you if you want to move forward with anything, or uh, just have any questions in general.